So you're considering a move to Hoboken and maybe you've done a little research, maybe you've even seen my episode on Hoboken and have determined the price is a little high to pay for that premium of being that close to the Hudson waterfront. Uh, and maybe the, the dining scenes, the walkable nature of the neighborhoods where you have your cafes, your cleaners, your bars, your you name it, that's gonna be just maybe one block, two block, three blocks distance from your residence. And that's something that you like, but it's not that much of a premium. You'd like to bargain shop a little bit. What well, today's episode is going to be for you, if you have been thinking Hoboken, not too sure if you wanna pay that price. So the alternative is the Heights neighborhood of Jersey City. So where I am right now, I am just behind me is the 9th Street elevator that pretty much elevates you from where I stand right now. It's in Hoboken, literally across the rails is Jersey City. So this is a station that um, travels the light rail path that takes you from north to south throughout Hudson County, takes you to Hoboken, to the Hoboken Terminal. If you are taking the path train into the city or if you need to get into Jersey City, there's a train that, a light rail train that takes you all the way down to Exchange, uh, as well as uh, the other stations such as uh, Newport and uh, Harismas. So this particular line is very, very convenient. We're not on the east side of Hoboken where you have both ferry service at 14th Street and down uh, towards the terminal or the path. You're not really that convenient of a walking distance, but units like this one just behind me here, this particular building is virtually located right here at the station. So you see the, you know, the convenience, you don't pay the premium even here for Hoboken. You have a bit of a savings even staying uh, or buying, purchasing or renting a location like this compared to being near the path. But you're looking to bargain shop a little. So the Heights, we're going to take a look at today, five different properties. We're going to take a look at a couple condos, new construction. We're going to take a look at uh, single family as well as multifamily to show your price points and the savings that you get. All of these locations we're gonna look at today are in roughly a 10 minute walk from this elevator. All right, so again, that elevator takes us right up to the heights and the premium of being within walking distance of that elevator is it drops you right down here into Hoboken by the light rail and then you're off to whatever your destination may be. The heights also has the convenience of bus lines that go into the city. 25, 30 minute ride and you're into Port Authority. All right, so we're going to take a little stroll through the neighborhood as well, give you a feel for the locality and the surroundings. And we're going to conclude with the feature, here comes a light rail right now, um, a feature multifamily property and uh, the park scene that is very local right here in the neighborhood. All right, so let's get started now. Welcome to New Jersey Living. If you're looking to buy or sell in New Jersey or just learn what there is to know about the different neighborhoods, the features of those neighborhoods, the level of demand in those neighborhoods, access to New York City, access to entertainment, to dining, to retail, shopping, this is the channel for you. So if you are a first time visitor, please do click like, subscribe, and the notification bell to stay updated on all of our future episodes that are coming your way soon. My name is Corey Jones and I'm a real estate agent with Compass Real Estate. I routinely receive text messages, calls, or emails from folks just like you looking to make a move here in New Jersey. So for you all who have been joining us for some time on this channel, all those Jersey hunters that have been exploring with us, welcome back. For those who are new, welcome aboard. Today we are in, standing right here in Jersey City. I'm almost at the border of uh, the Heights, which is the neighborhood we're gonna to feature today, and Hoboken, which is down this cliff. As you can, I'm gonna pan down a little bit so you can see what's down there. So uh, Hoboken is, if you've seen my episode on that, you know that it's on the waterfront, directly across the Hudson from Manhattan, high demand area, high demand because of the convenience it is to, to get to the city, also the social and the dining scene that comes with it. A lot of young professionals and young families uh, really love to be in that area for the conveniences that it provides. That comes with a cost premium. So Hoboken, um, in terms of sea level, I'm gonna jump into that because we are in the Heights. 
All right, so at sea level, uh, the sea level of Hoboken is just seven feet above. Uh, where we stand right now in the heights, the heights is 148 feet above. So there's a significant elevation, right? Uh, we're pretty much up on a cliff in comparison to Hoboken, which is down below. So as I mentioned in the intro, there are savvy shoppers that are looking for alternatives and the Heights presents just that, an alternative that gives you a easy, I would say within walking distance from here, which are the units and the properties that we're gonna take a look at are all within about a 10 to 15 minute walk of this station right here where I am. Uh, this elevator that takes you down to the light rail. It presents a very easy commute to get into Hoboken to the light rail, which gives you easy access into Jersey City and into New York City. Uh, there's also the bus lines. I'm here along Palisade Ave, all right, which is one of the uh, main thoroughfares in the Heights section of Jersey City that runs north-south. There's bus lines here. There's bus lines on three of uh, the primary north-south roads not far from us that all provide easy access into the city by bus and we're talking 25, 30 minutes to get in. Um, so this is something that is going to be very informative for those who are shopping around and have determined Hoboken is a bit too much of a premium or I just like to shop around a little bit to see what else is out there, what else is available. I have, you've seen maybe the uh, Journal Square, McKinley Square episode, you've seen the West Bergen and Bergen Lafayette. Uh, you've seen the tremendous development that's taking place in those two locations. Heights, very different, more residential. Uh, but there is definitely some um, benefits to being in this area because of the conveniences I just pointed out. And bargain prices. Bargain prices with some new upgraded units, uh, new construction units as well that's available in this neighborhood. So let's get our tour started now. We're at our first stop at 580 Palisades, which reminds me a quick correction on the last clip. We were on Patterson Plank is where the elevator is, not Palisade. Got my P's mixed up, so forgive me. Uh, but we're on Palisade, which is a block away, runs parallel to Patterson Plank. This is literally one block away, all right, from uh, Congress, which runs down to uh, the intersection of Congress and Patterson Plank is where the elevator is. So from walking out of this building directly behind me, um, I'd say a brisk walk is five minutes, all right? Um, a very casual walk is probably seven. So literally around the corner. So here is proof positive of what I mean by the savings. Two units have sold here. In the past 30 days, just uh, for those again who are new to the channel, I typically feature recent sales just to give an accurate assessment of where we are in the market. Uh, so the units behind me were one was three bedroom, two and a half bath, listed at 1.2 million, sold at 1.22 million. And get this 2,163 square feet. All right. Imagine that in Hoboken, totally different in terms of price. Other unit, two bedroom, two bath, listed and sold at 760,000. That unit just short of 1,200 square feet. All right, so 1,192 to be exact. So these two units, extremely spacious. As you can see here, there is garage parking, which is another major feature. Just to pan around a little bit, you can see up and down the street. Uh, you can imagine parking is definitely very much a challenge, okay? So uh, this uh, location provides parking, provides easy access to the elevator to get to Hoboken, get to the city. You see the bus that just ran by, uh, by me now. Buses are consistently up and down uh, this particular stretch. So if your preference is bus, that availability is to you. If you wanna take the uh, elevator to take the light rail, that is as well. So this is, uh, you know, we have a few photos uh, that you were able to take a look at, just to get a feel for the interior. Brand new construction here, brand new. All right, so we're gonna take a look now at uh, single family and multifamily options. You're gonna see pretty much the same. See you there. Our second stop is here at 258 uh, Webster. And 258 Webster, as you can see behind me, is a single family it's not um although you know homes in this section often are exactly side by side touching they're not 
always detached. It is, in fact, single family. You can see there's parking here, not a garage, but parking. List price on this, $875, sold at $975. Three bedroom, two and a half bath, square footage, $1770. And taxes, not bad, $8,100. So it's, uh, you know, re again, relative to your proximity, we are another two blocks away from our first stop. So from here, comfortably 12 to 15 minute walk uh, to the elevator. And again, just a few blocks if you wanna take a bus. So this again, gives you an idea of the general aesthetics of the neighborhood. I'm gonna walk down just a little bit here, uh, just to give you an idea of what is a common sight, uh, actually on both sides of the property. Uh, one side, we can see that there is new construction. This has the appearance to me as a multifamily because I see that there are three meters. You know, that's a pretty obvious indication that you're looking at a multifamily scenario. So here you can see there is new construction that is pretty much close to being completed. Directly next to it is a foundation, which gives indication that another one just like it is coming up in the, in the near future. This is something that is being seen throughout the heights, right? So if there's an opportunity to uh, acquire a property uh, or land, uh, investors know that there is certainly still demand when it comes to this given location. Now with demand, we always make reference to the big three, and that is proximity to the city. Obviously we're in Jersey City, so that is a check. Um, you're also talking about proximity of trains. We're in Jersey City again, and we already talked about the light rail. That is a check. Schools, that one I'm gonna leave as question mark. Um, Jersey City schools actually are not poorly rated, uh, but I reserve the high demand check mark for the A, even A minus kind of districts. Uh, there are three high demand schools. Two of them are uh, the magnets there. I was about to say charter, but it's totally different when you're talking about charters. Uh, the magnets um, are by application and other criteria. So that would be uh, McNair, which is in the village. I'm sorry, not the village, Hamilton uh, Park downtown. Then there's uh, Infinity uh, Institute that is in the uh, Greenville section. Those two, Infinity Institute being six to 12, McNair is strictly high school. So those are options. But um, again, it's, it's by choice whether someone looks to say, okay, you know what, uh, if a school is B, that's solid by me, but just for my own purposes on this channel, we will get the check mark when it comes to A minus. So I'm gonna leave that as a, as a question mark. So we see right here, we see 252, we see 250 right here beside me, both with garages, and these would be individual units on each side, but those both kind of book uh, bookend, if you will, uh, 258. So if you're in this location, one of the things that you want to be able to see, and this is wherever you are in Jersey City, you really want to see is there development going on in the immediate location. In this case, that would absolutely be a check mark because uh, that's something that certainly insulates the value uh, of your own property. So our next stop, next two stops actually, are going to be both be multifamily and we'll get a feel for what those price points look like in the neighborhood. I'll see you there. Directly behind me, we have 163 Webster. This is the two families, the first of the multifamilies that I'm gonna feature. So 163 is two units, two bedroom, one bath each, both renovated. Property listed at 965, sold at 955. And certainly a feature here is going to be parking. As you can see, there's a driveway there which panning around again as I was a little earlier and just seeing kind of the street aesthetic of what we have uh, in the Heights. And this is, you know, common for the area. Mostly there is street parking. You know, you're gonna rely on street parking. This unit at least affords, uh, this property at least affords at least one driveway. So both units uh, renovated. Uh, again, two bedroom, one bath. This would certainly uh, give a pretty solid demand in terms of rent roll uh, because of location. If someone's looking for investment purposes, if it's someone looking to reside, gives you that benefit of having part of the mortgage paid by a tenant, be it first or second floor. I wanted to pan around to another property almost directly across the street. And again, I'm gonna pan all the way up 
and all the way down so you can get a feel for the level of detail in many of the renovation projects that are taking place here in the Heights. So this is um, pretty significant detail. I, I've just in my walk down this way and I've walked about maybe three, two and a half blocks from where we were just at uh, 258 Webster. Um, there's probably two of not three um, properties that are currently not occupied. Most certainly uh, investment projects that are gonna take place within the next probably 12 months. Um, so this is uh, an area that is continuing to transition and, and trend in the same direction. Properties that are being renovated, properties that are uh, being purchased either as you know, primary residence, which certainly this would be the case. Uh, 163 Webster could be either primary or you know, perhaps an investment property. All right, so we're gonna take a look. Uh, two more stops for the episode. One, we're gonna stop at Washington Park. Uh, and uh, our final stop is going to be at a three family uh, that was a recent sale. I'll see you there. We're at our final property stop. We have one more stop to make along the way. So do stick around for the tour of the park as well as some more features of the neighborhoods itself. Uh, so, so you can see uh, a little bit of a difference as you can maybe see here on Gray Street as we get north of um, the northern extent of the Heights in Jersey City and bordering on Union, Union City. So behind us is 52 Grace. I'm gonna pan up a little bit so you can see the upper end of the property. This is a three unit, um, three family dwelling. Uh, two units, three bedroom, one bath. One unit is two bed, one bath. Uh, the rent roll has ranged from 1500 for the two bedroom unit to 1850 for one of the three bedroom units. And that's not renovated. Uh, you take a look right next door. We're gonna pan, not even pan, just take a step down. You can see that next door, there is a project underway right now. And you'll see that in some of the footage, uh, just me walking the street, uh, shooting some footage of different properties up and down this stretch. I'm going to shoot some of Central as well as we make our way back down to uh, the park. Uh, this is again reflective of what the trend is in the area. All right, so this uh, no doubt renovated uh, has an entirely different type of demand in terms of rent. Um, but this particular property listed at 795, sold at 770, and property taxes are slightly over 11,000, which is not bad at all. Um, so this gives you an example of something that, again, non-renovated, you still can have an opportunity to have a three family under the price point of 800,000, which is a pretty good bargain, all right? Uh, distance from the uh, light rail where we stand right now, we're a little further out because at the end of this street, see if I can step out here without, car coming, car is coming now, one second. End of the street is the park and the park separates pretty much uh, where we, this general neighborhood from uh, Patterson Plank, which that's where the uh, light rail station is a few blocks down. So longer walk for sure. Uh, I'll map that out just so you'll see what the walk would be like. Uh, but this is still close proximity to JFK and Summit and Central, all of which have buses, bus lines running routinely that could take you to Jersey City uh, or into New York City. Uh, so we have one more stop and some features to show just within the neighborhood. Stick around, don't miss the end here. Here we are in Washington Park towards the eastern end of the park. I'm gonna pan around. You can see there'll be some kids in the back. Playground is over on that side of Patterson Plank as it cuts through the park. And water sprinklers playground. Uh, there'll be some trees and shrubs obscuring the rest of the view 
uh, but there are basketball courts, volleyball court, baseball, softball field, um, dog park. There is everything out here for a little bit of everyone. Uh, what's great about the parks is that you get an opportunity to see the diversity that's in the neighborhood. You uh, see peoples of every background uh, walking the neighborhood. That's reflective of Jersey City. Uh, and it's been trending in Union City as well as a lot of population has uh, started to gravitate towards Union City because it is really cl close proximity as well to this um, 9th Street elevator. So there are areas immediate to the park in Union City that have drawn a lot of people for that reason. A lot, another Hoboken alternative, which we will eventually visit Union City also. So this um, given location, the dividing line between Jersey City and Union City is Patterson Plank Road right here behind me. Cuts directly through the park, divides the two municipalities. So we have uh, had an opportunity to give you a little taste of what the Heights has to offer. Uh, this is something that I think that would at least pique the interest of those who are not set on having to be in either the downtown scene of Jersey City or uh, in Hoboken, but um, are really open to a bargain in areas that are still trending upwards in terms of renovations, renovated properties, getting bargain prices for a property that may be brand new construction even, all right? So uh, again, I want everybody to click, like, subscribe, and the notification bell. Uh, if you enjoyed this episode, do stay in touch. Uh, we're gonna have uh, uh, Hoboken Eats episode coming up pretty soon, and I'm trying to get as much community participation as possible. So if there are some spots in Hoboken that you want to see featured or you're recommending, please, I have a few in mind already, but by all means, uh, put that in. Um, I'm looking forward to some upcoming episodes. We're gonna keep a mix and blend between the direct urban alternatives to New York City right here along the Hudson and Hudson County, and blending in some suburb locations in Bergen, Essex, and Union, Middlesex, and Union County for that matter. All right, so thanks again for joining us. I'll see you soon.